What's going on, Capricorn family? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Down to Earth Tarot. Please like, comment, let me know where you're watching from. Shout out to everybody in Michigan and subscribe, family. Somebody's wanting to come back for a do-over. We see this Three of Cups. See, oh, we see the Three of Cups in the Tower. Scorpio, Aries, Gemini, Aries with the Fool. The Fixed Signs with the Wheel of Fortune. Drop your sun, moon, rising down below, family. This is going to shock you as wanting to, okay. Pop up out of nowhere. The Seven of Swords speaks to ghosting. Nowhere. Do not see this coming. A situation between you and somebody being on pause. Some of you, another Capricorn. Capricorns, drop those birthdays. Shout out to those of you born on the 5th and the 15th. And looking to shake some things up. Capricorn. Somebody's looking for attention. And whether this is you or the other person, it may be both parties wanting to start over again. But the overall energy is, you know, Dorothy with the black Air Force Ones. You know what this is, shade. Mess. A liar, a cheater, a thief. This is somebody, okay, that's proven themselves to be untrustworthy, reckless even here with the fool. Spinning the block. The Wheel of Fortune. Now I'm curious as to who this is. Do you know who this is, Capricorn? Three of Cups. The Tower here and a major revelation with the Sun. You see Sagittarius now, the Two of Swords. Somebody wants to talk. Is wanting to talk. So clarify this. The Tower really quick. This revelation of clearly wanting to reconcile. I wouldn't be, I almost feel the way that this condo is set up, which can also look like an office building for work. Um, somebody approaching you at home, at work, very directly wanting to let you know that, you know, they've been waiting on you or hoping that you've been waiting for them or thinking about you for a very long time. Oh, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups in the judgment here. Somebody's saying that they've emotionally got it all together now and are wanting to reconcile. Do you believe it? Oh, oh some of y'all don't. But this Ten of Swords. Okay, the Strength card and the Moon. And needing the background energy, needing to protect yourself, protect your energy, protect your peace, protect your information. Somebody being very defensive here. I almost get that while somebody's very excited about a reconciliation, somebody's not quite sure. Some of you may be totally turned off by this or someone. I shouldn't, shouldn't say you. I'm trying to keep my readings more neutral over here. Um, let's clarify again. What deck do I want to use? Mm. We're using this one. So let's get into this. Being reckless here with the fool. And shout out to the people that love to wear animal print. Somebody's saying that they want to come back after healing, praying. And there, it, there's no question to me. For some of you, you might be dealing with somebody shady, you know, that's you're still in communication with. But to me, this speaks to somebody who you are not in communication with that is indeed trying to suggest that they're better now. You know, that they, and not only that, that they have something to offer you with this Wheel of Fortune. So it's not just the same go round. It's a let's start over. I'm sincerely trying to come in with this Ace of Cups. The Six of One again, celebrating, looking for attention, but it's also that validation being celebrated. Emperor. Four, four. Shout out to the Capricorns or the and cross watchers that are 44. Or that's a significant number for you. Drop those repeating numbers, family. Who ended a relationship? And that's the reason you've been at a distance. Maybe they were hiding it. Um, maybe you didn't know even. 
But this almost looks like somebody ending a relationship, getting themselves together and reapproaching someone. Some of you with this emperor, it may be a family member. I'm almost getting like father figure, ex-husband, father of your children, could be mother as well. But this is masculine energy, so I'm thinking of men um, that is wanting to return, wanting to say something, but it having to do with a serious commitment. Um, I'm not taking those. I fell on my lap. Now this Ten of Swords, which showed up in this reading and the last one, in this an ending due to you know many betrayals. Notice Dorothy with the swords in the picture of Stan, which speaks to somebody being obsessed with somebody in this situation here, and then the distance. And then the separation here, Virgo energy with the hermit. Mm. For some of you, this period of separation, not being in communication, some of you or them watching each other from a distance. Some of you have been very content with the peace. Some of them have been very happy with the peace, with the separation here, the strength card. And the ace of wands. Family, who was running around here? You had to separate themselves because they were running around. Throwing, you know, throwing that thing around, throwing that toddy around if you're in South Africa. Isn't that the term? Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't that slang for that thing? Family. Some of you watch somebody just throw it all around or be taking it. Or it's just looking for new opportunities, looking for something, again, exciting, something new. I almost get the vibes of somebody being turned off. So this wanting to, this person wanting to reconcile is this, it's not looking like it's going to go well. This two of swords coming out twice now. It fell in my lap. I didn't want to pick it up. And now it's here again. Right. I almost feel like whoever this person is that is going to reach out is going to get a response that they're not expecting. Ooh, not expecting it may be no response. It may be just getting blocked off of everything on social media. The seven of swords showing up twice now, here and here. Oh, excuse me. More boundaries and barriers. The nine of wands. Because some of y'all have already been through this before. Bandage on her head. Frowny face. Yeah, this is about protecting. Ooh. What was seen during this period of separation? Done. Their actions. We see the moon here, the hidden things, but also deep feelings going beneath the surface. Pisces, Cancer. I also see some, and clearly the discovery. Oh, the, not the. Somebody doesn't have any control. Frowny face. Leo energy with this strength card in the reverse. Watching somebody have a lack of control. It could even be specifically in the lust arena, as I mentioned earlier. Family, what in the heck? And then just wanting to come by all casual. Hey, can I stop by your house? Can I come through? Can you come through? Dang, what the heck? And something about the three of cups, and you see all three, well, three of the four golden girls. For some of you, highly don't recommend these situations, but unfortunately, it's the world we live in. It looks like, a, I, for some of you, it's a friend with benefit situation. Others of you, it may be a shady friend that is wanting to reach out and reconcile with you. That lacks control, maybe has a lust issue. And then we see the fool again. Speaks of somebody being very reckless and naive. Again, that Aries, Gemini energy, reckless, wanting to start over. And it almost gives the vibes of being totally oblivious. Being totally oblivious as to how it is that they come off to people, right? And needing to trust your gut about this. Trusting your gut about this person's approach, what they're saying, what they're doing. And the six of, 
the six of swords here in this high priestess, this is turning this offer down. Remember, we started with that wheel of fortune. That's cycles closing, new beginnings. We see this a solid new beginning. But it's this back being turned, looking like this hermit here. The hermit's got his hoodie down here. But here, yeah, somebody's moved on. Somebody's ready to go. Heavily ready to go. Mm, mm, mm. And this offer coming in, getting into this Ace of Pentacles. Now, somebody wants to come in and offer you exactly what it is that you've been wanting originally. Others, this is somebody coming in saying, you know, they've worked on themselves. They're more patient. It's taken a lot for them to come forward. They're looking to equally give and take this time. Again, it gives the vibes of healing. But some of y'all have just moved on or somebody in the situation has just moved on. You see this Queen of Wands. Somebody's refocused, focused on their work, other opportunities, looking better. It's the, all of the confidence in this Queen of Wands here. And the Black Cat protection, being protected. But it also gives the vibes of that Sun card too. Happy, happy endings, new beginnings. Looking good, feeling good. Looking better upon walking away. Eliminating any of the stress and anxiety that was coming from this situation. The high pre and the judgment here, right. Needing to use your intuition to make the right decision for you about this relationship, reconciliation, coming back together. 11 11, a new beginning. Make a wish. This person will be reaching out. Um, a definite need to take your time making this decision, really evaluating this. But uh, somebody's wanting to come forward and reconcile. And somebody is, somebody else is unsure. Yeah. Oh, and the star, a little Aquarius energy. Shout out to those of you born on the 7th and the 17th of January. Those of you dealing with, it, it speaks to confusion, mixed signals when I see that five of wands, chaos. The six of pentacles in the reverse speaks for itself. Two people here unfairly giving to two, trying to weigh their options, you know, taking a little for themselves and not being balanced. But also somebody, want, you know, wanting to get back into alignment here. So while they're saying that they've changed, and for some of them they have, for others it may be not be that way. It may just be some drama here in the background. They're wanting to realign with you, but notice the two pictures pouring into different things. Who is this double-minded person? Yeah. The seven of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and the tower. Lots of earth here. Seven in the page and the Scorpio um, Aries with this tower. A major revelation wanting to start over. There could be a significant age difference. Could be that somebody has a child. Oh, what were they hiding? I feel like somebody comes in with a, re a revelation to start off this reconciliation that turns somebody off. So it's not just what you've seen, but it's also what they're revealing. I feel like somebody, like, maybe I'm not saying that correctly. Like they're going to come in and approach you, giving you some type of closure and or proof, explaining something from the past. That's not going to look good. That upon deeper reflection... Like, isn't an attractive offer? We see this five of swords again. We've seen that twice now in this reading. Um, a confrontation, a conversation, and then a loss. Somebody taking a loss. Oh, not just that. 55, a number of change. The five of sadness and regret. We see these people walking away in the background of this five of swords with their heads down. Yeah. See this person on the outskirt. Yeah, somebody's out. A Vita's in. As they say on Project Runway. One day you're in. The next day you're out. Five of Pentacles, right? Out of there. The boot. You can call Tyrone, but you can't use my phone. And there's no pay phones in 2023, family. This is it. Oh, 555. Five, five. How'd I miss that? Some of y'all dealing with the Taurus. 
Some of you dealing with another Capricorn with the three fives. I almost make, it almost makes me think that this is the third go round with somebody. Ooh, this might be the third time you've gone around and round, coming in with the apology. King of Swords in this hangman, yeah. Wanting to reconcile. Wanting to tell the truth about, you know, what you didn't know in the background. But a lot of you have already seen, or again, this truth is so unattractive. Again, I feel like it's the lack of control. The inability to control this themselves, that's unattractive. Like discipline is, a, is cute. It's sexy. That nine of wands, oof. Walls up, shady pines, nines. Sevens, nines, sixes, and the fives blowing up this thing. Drop those angel and repeating numbers. Releasing a situation with that nine of wands and putting up barriers, setting boundaries. Because with that king of swords that we saw in the reverse, somebody doesn't want boundaries. Let's just go back to the things, the way things were. But I don't feel like you're the way you were before Capricorn with this nine of pentacles. This again speaks to that independence. This next level of confidence, this looking good, strong, stable, you don't need this person. While they need you to be in alignment, you're in alignment all by yourself. And shout out to the Capricorns that are working multiple jobs, got other things going on here, uh, keeping things moving. You know exactly what to do in this situation. And we see the seven and the 17 here. Shout out to the people that work and live in the 717, wherever that is, let me know. But an opportunity to reconcile is, I feel like it's really going to be shut down by somebody. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's banking on the history that they have with you, or vice versa. You banking on the history that you have with this person to secure them a spot in their life. That, look, I've invested. You've been waiting on this. This is what, you know, we've talked about. And some, again, it's the boot. We started with the Seven of Swords. We're going to end it with the Seven of Swords, the lovers. It's going to be somebody's choice to let somebody go. And this will be a major lesson for someone. Oof. And notice the lovers, Adam and Eve here. The consequences, the Nine of Swords, Nines. The consequences of somebody's actions. Reaping, something about to reap what they sown. Shout out to the Capricorn babies in 97 and 79. 76 and 67 Capricorns let me know what's resonated for you hit that like button subscribe join the family dropping three video three Capricorn videos a day check out my second channel links to that are down below in the description box find me on Instagram my account is private and Capricorns and cross watchers I'll be tapping in with you very soon keep it real